Hey there everyone, today we're going to talk about something that's absolutely crucial if you want to succeed as a seller on Zazzle and that's doing your research. Now I know, I know, research can sound like a real drag, but trust me, it's going to save you a ton of time and money in the long run. Alright, let's break it down. First things first, every single marketplace out there is unique. What works like a charm on Etsy or Amazon might completely flop on Zazzle. That's because the customers on each platform have different expectations, different search behaviors, and different preferences. It's like trying to sell ice cream to people who are craving hot cocoa you're just not going to get very far. And that's why it's so important to understand how people search for products on Zazzle specifically. This marketplace has its own unique quirks and features that can make or break your success. For example, the search suggestions and tooltips from the Lin Analytics tool can give you a huge head start on understanding what customers are actually looking for. Speaking of Lin Analytics, that's going to be our best friend throughout this process. Zazzle is really one of a kind when it comes to the data and insights this tool provides. It's like having a super smart assistant that can tell you exactly what's selling, what keywords are hot, and what designs are catching people's eyes. So, what's our goal here? Simple, we want to find a solid blueprint for creating designs, choosing the right products and optimizing our SEO so that our listings practically sell themselves. It's all about making data-driven decisions instead of just guessing and crossing our fingers. So, let's take a deep breath, grab a notebook or your favorite note-taking app, and get ready to dive into the wonderful world of Zazzle Research. By the end of this video, you'll have a game plan that'll give you a serious edge over the competition. Trust me, your future successful self will thank you for putting in the work now. Let's do this. Awesome, now that we're all pumped up and ready to go, let's dive right into the practical steps of researching on Zazzle. We're going to start by simply typing some keywords into the search bar. Now, pay close attention here because as soon as you start typing, you'll notice that Zazzle is already suggesting a few related keywords. This is where the Lin Analytics tool really starts to show its value. You'll see these handy little tooltips popping up next to each suggestion, giving you a sneak peek at how many search results each keyword is pulling in. How cool is that? It's like having a built-in crystal ball that can help you predict which terms are going to be winners right from the get-go. But we're not stopping there, oh no, once you've picked a keyword and hit that search button, you'll be greeted by a page full of product listings. Now, at first glance it might just look like a jumbled mess of random items, but that's where you'd be wrong. This is where we need to put on our detective hats and start analyzing the heck out of this search page. You see, while the search results can give you a general idea of what's popular, they don't really provide any deep insights or data to help you make informed decisions. That's why we need to call in the big guns the Lin Analytics tool itself. Simply click that Start Analyze button, and boom, you'll be transported to a whole new world of data and possibilities. As the tool loads up, you'll start to see a neat little summary of the current search page pop up on the dashboard. But that's just the tip of the iceberg, my friends. Lin Analytics is packed with so many incredibly useful features that it'll make your head spin. For starters, you can sort and filter the entire list of products based on criteria like added date, price, reviews, ratings, total views, and even estimated monthly views. Talk about having the power to cut through the noise and find the real diamond in the rough products. But wait, there's more. You can also filter the results based on the seller level of the Zazzle sellers themselves ranging from basic to diamond level. This is huge because it lets you see which products are being created by the true heavyweights of the platform. And if that wasn't enough, you can even see the exact number of sellers at each level, giving you a bird's eye view of the competition landscape. Now let your eyes wander over to the focus keywords section on the dashboard. Bam, there it is, a massive list of every single keyword that's being used across all the listings on the current search page we're analyzing. Talk about a gold mine of data, am I right? But hold up, it's not just a basic list of keywords. Lin Analytics also provides some incredibly valuable data points for each term, like how many times it's been used across the listings and, get this, even an estimate of how many search results that keyword is pulling in on Zazzle. Genius. So what do we do with all this information? Well, that's where the sorting and filtering features come in clutch. We can sort the entire list based on either the most used keywords across the listings or the terms with the highest search volume. It's like having a magic wand that instantly separates the wheat from the chaff. As an example, let's say we're researching products in the vintage, minimalist niche. After playing around with the sorting options, we might notice that keywords like vintage, minimalist product label and black and white are rising to the top of the list. Boom! 
Those are likely going to be some of our most valuable, high converting keywords for that particular niche. But here's the cool part, we're not just blindly picking those terms because they have high usage or search volume. We also want to make sure they're stylistically relevant and aligned with the overall aesthetic and vibe we're going for with our designs. After soaking in all this juicy data, I always like to create a mood board or style guide of sorts. Having all of these assets and data points organized in one central place is going to be a huge blessing when it's time to actually start creating your product listings and content. Let your eyes wander over to the most viewed products section under those focus keywords. Boom! Right there, you'll see a list of the blank product templates that have been used the most across all those listings we just analyzed. This is huge insider info, my friends. It's like a giant flashing neon sign showing you exactly what types of physical products your target customers are gravitating towards in this niche. For example, let's say that wood art stamps and self-inking rubber stamps are popping up as some of the most popular blank products in that section. That's our green light to focus our design efforts on creating killer graphics and typography that'll look amazing on those product types. Not only that, but it tells us that applying our work to those specific templates is likely going to get our listings way more eyeballs and exposure from the get-go. But hold up, it gets even better. Just below that, you'll notice there's another golden nugget called the Best Selling Products section. These are the real heavy hitters, the listings that have racked up the most actual sales and customer purchases in this niche. When you click into one of those top sellers, prepare to have your mind blown we're talking massive view counts, tons of glowing reviews, the whole nine yards. These babies are certified money makers. Now, I'm not saying we should just straight up copy these best-selling designs because that would be unethical and super lame. But what I am telling you is to use them as inspiration. Study the styling, the color palettes, the composition, and yes, even the keywords and sales copy they're using to connect with customers. Treat these listings like a free masterclass in what's working right now in your niche, and then use those insights to put your own unique spin on new designs. I know we've covered a ton of ground here, from dissecting keywords to pulling apart top-selling listings, but I promise all of these pieces are going to come together into one beautifully cohesive, data-driven strategy for dominating your chosen niche on Zazzle. We're building the foundation for long-term success here, one information-packed brick at a time. The road ahead won't always be easy, but stay focused, keep experimenting, and most importantly, trust the data. With the insights you're gathering here, you're going to have a huge advantage over sellers who are still just guessing and throwing spaghetti at the wall. Stick with me, keep that motivation high, and I promise the rewards are going to be worth it. You've got this. All right, you made it this far, and I'm proud of you. We've already accomplished so much by digging deep into those high-value keywords and zeroing in on the top-performing product types and designs. But you know what? I'm still not satisfied. We're going to take this research game to a whole new level. I'm talking about those listings that have racked up view counts in the hundreds of thousands or even millions. The ones that have absolutely crushed it in terms of sales and customer engagement. Lucky for us, Lin Analytics makes it stupidly easy to surface and analyze these best of the best listings. We're going to hop right back into that product filter section and sort the entire list by total views. Boom, just like that, we'll have an orderly lineup of the most viewed, most eyeballed products in this niche, all conveniently ranked and ready for us to study. As you start scrolling through these top performers, I want you to really take a good, hard look at the designs themselves. What styling choices are they making? What colors, fonts, and compositional elements are they using that seem to be resonating so well with customers? Don't just skim the surface, either make sure you're analyzing the finer details and thinking critically about what makes each design a home run. And hey, I'm not saying you need to straight up copy any of these listings, because that would just be wrong and pretty lame if I'm being honest. What I'm encouraging you to do is use them as a source of pure, unfiltered inspiration. Let the elements and styles that are clearly working jump off the screen and start planting seeds of ideas in your own creative mind. But we're not stopping at just the visuals, oh no. See that handy little view more button next to each product. That's your gateway to an even deeper well of data and insights. Click it, and you'll be able to expand out and see all the juicy details and most importantly the exact keywords and copy that these top sellers are using to optimize their listings for maximum visibility and sales. I want you to really soak all of this in and start making connections between the most successful listing elements and the data-driven research process we've been following so far. You're getting an insider's peek at what's working right now in your niche, straight from the products and sellers who are absolutely crushing it. You, what a journey we've been on together. 
From demystifying the power of keyword research to uncovering the top performing product types and straight up stalking the most successful listings on Zazzle, we've left no stone unturned in our quest to gather as much data-driven intelligence as possible. And you know what? I'm feeling incredibly confident that after putting in all this hard work, we're finally ready to start putting together a killer game plan for dominating whatever niche we set our sights on in the Zazzle marketplace. But we're not just armed with a handful of disconnected data points here, we've built an entire strategic blueprint from the ground up using real-world insights and proven bestseller case studies. Just think about everything we now have at our fingertips, a curated list of the most valuable, high-converting keywords that align perfectly with our goals and target audience. Check. Insights into the specific blank product types that are resonating hard with customers and racking up serious view counts. You know it. A deep understanding of the design styles, aesthetics, and compositional elements that seem to be absolutely crushing it in terms of sales and engagement. We've got it covered. But it's not just about having all these puzzle pieces, it's about knowing exactly how they fit together into one beautifully cohesive, masterfully executed strategy. Thanks to the time and effort we've invested into researching the market, analyzing top performers, and yes, geeking out over all that delicious data, we can now move forward with total confidence, knowing that our decisions are being guided by facts, not hunches. And let's be real here, having that level of certainty and strategic foresight in your corner is a total game changer especially in the fast-moving, highly competitive world of Zazzle and other online marketplaces. While other sellers are still just guessing and throwing ideas at the wall, hoping something will stick, we're going to be executing a brilliantly calculated plan of attack that puts us light years ahead of the curve. Does that mean everything is going to be sunshine and rainbows from here on out? Of course not. There will always be new challenges to overcome and variables to adapt to as trends shift and customer demands evolve. But by adopting this intensely research-driven, data-first mindset, we're setting ourselves up to be able to pivot and adjust our strategies on the fly, staying one step ahead of the competition at all times. So in closing, I just want to say congratulations. You've officially leveled up from a wide-eyed rookie hoping to strike gold to a truly seasoned, professional-grade Zazzle seller with the tools, knowledge, and killer instincts to create listings that don't just sell, but absolutely dominate whatever niche you set your sights on. Trust the process, keep learning, keep evolving, and never stop letting that data guide your decisions. With the rock-solid foundation we've built here today, the world is your oyster, my friend. The sky's the limit from here, so get out there, put these hard-earned insights into action, and start printing money like you've never seen before.